We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men and women created by the go, you know the you know the thing. Joe Biden is basically dead. At the very best, he occasionally still recognizes the people around him, apart from the time he confused his sister for his wife. By the way, this is my little sister Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh no, this is not. Or Margaret Thatcher for Merkel. Spoke about it. You had people like Margaret Thatcher, uh, excuse me, you had p- p- people like the, the former chairman and leader of the party in, the, in Germany. Or the time he thought he was running for the U.S. Senate instead of the presidency. Joe oh, Biden, I'm a Democratic candidate for the United States Senate. Or the time he said he marched for civil rights, or he was tricked into voting for the Iraq War. Actually, the last two were just lies. I made a mistake. I said it 14 years ago. I trusted George Bush to keep his word. He said he was not going to go into Iraq. The only way we're going to get rid of Saddam Hussein, and it's going to require guys like you in uniform to be back on foot in the desert taking the son of a, the uh, taking Saddam down. From the moment shock and awe started, from that moment, I was opposed to the effort and I was outspoken. Some of my own party have said that it was a mistake to go to Iraq in the first place. But the cost of not acting against Saddam, I think, would have been much greater. When I marched in the civil rights movement, I marched with tens of thousands of others to change attitudes. And we changed attitudes. So when I was about the age of the guy standing over there, I got involved in the civil rights movement. I was not an activist. I was not out marching. I was not down in Selma. I was not anywhere else. Biden has spent most of his political career being a shill for power, preventing any real progressive reform that could challenge corporate power, one of the authors of the devastating 1994 crime bill that destroyed and criminalized a generation of black people, introducing mandatory minimum sentencing for low-level drug possession, while at the same time the CIA facilitated a flood of crack cocaine into mostly black inner-city communities, trafficked by their School of America's star pupils, the Contras, that graduated with honors in being extreme right-wing terrorists, used to murder, assassinate, torture, rape, kidnap, and mutilate civilians on their way to a CIA coup in Nicaragua. Biden's buddies in the bloody dystopic private prison industrial complex like vultures turned that human suffering into profit by expanding an industry, private gulags that use the slave labor of the victims of this policy, lobbying and using politicians like Biden to do their bidding and making billions in profit. Bobby Rush, member of Congress, said the other day, I'm ashamed that I voted for the 94 crime bill. Are you ashamed of that bill? Not at all. Um, and in fact, I drafted the bill, if you remember. I know that. Biden has also been an enthusiastic cheerleader of American aggressive foreign policy, imperialism and war, and ensuring the Democratic Party, one of the two partner parties of American capitalism, remained the main obstacle to achieving change for normal people in America, legitimizing the policy choices of the corporate community and the military industrial complex. Its role is to appear as the lesser of two evils, act as a shock absorber for American capitalism, and whose main function is to diffuse, absorb, and co-op social opposition and political dissent during times of upheaval caused by economic and social crisis. Then there's this. And by the way, you know, I sit on the stand, and it get hot. I got a lot of, I got hairy legs that turn, that 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 that, that turn uh, uh, um, blonde in the sun. And the kids used to come up and reach in the pool and rub my leg down, so it was straight, and then watch the hair come back up again. They look at it. So I learned about roaches. I learned about kids jumping on my lap. And I've loved kids jumping on my lap. Really, that happened. I'm expecting him soon to blur out a full confession about his collection of children's shoes in a moment of dementia and juice clarity. Thanks, Bill. And then there's this. Thank you. And this. I'm going to slide behind you. <clears throat> right women here. All right. And actually, never ending examples of really dodgy sleazing. That creepy uncle that everybody would make sure their kids wouldn't be left alone with. And after all that, his eye literally exploded and filled with blood live on air. Reconfigure what's going on. When we did the Paris Accord that they signed on to, it was agreed that we would constantly up the ante the nations would agree to. Biden's campaign is literally only kept viable by the media and the democratic elites, and Trump will roast him alive. 
What this means is the Democrats and their corporate donors would rather Trump be re-elected than offer even the smallest concessions to social democracy represented by Sanders, that's the norm everywhere else. Even though the majority of people support Sanders' policies, by scuppering his campaign through media framing, billionaire dark money, and downright election fraud, it has demoralized a generation of people and may have pushed the US on an irreversible slide to authoritarianism and fascism. The US has a staggering social and economic inequality that has concentrated wealth in the hands of these oligarchic elites and has degraded the lives of citizens, exacerbated due to the coronavirus and 2.2 trillion bailouts straight into the pockets of corporate America, and once again the poor and marginalized betrayed by a bankrupt liberal class will flock to the ever-increasing fascist agenda of Trump. With tax cuts, deregulation, the breaking of unions and the dismantling of institutions that carry out oversight and the protection of workers, along with the expansion of the military and its contracts, that'll do just fine for the American corporate elite. If you agree with me, go to Joe 30330 and help me in this fight. Thank you very much. We cannot let this, we've never allowed any crisis from the Civil War straight through to the pandemic of 17, all the way around 16. We have never, never let our democracy take second fiddle. We can both have a democracy and elections and at the same time correct.